I am a big fan of unique wardrobe capsules. But do you want to know why? It is because when I first created my unique wardrobe capsule, I realized it helped me in so many ways. It helped me to actually spend less money on clothes and to invest those money in other areas of my life. It also helped me to spend less time in front of my wardrobe and to actually be on time to any event I need to attend. Then it also made me more creative in the sense that I get to play with the garments I already own and I already have in my wardrobe and I get the same amount of joy maybe even more when I discover a new outfit in my wardrobe than when I go to purchase a new item. And this will happen to you too, I promise. And overall, it helped me to actually build a sense of serenity when it comes to my wardrobe. And isn't this what we all want when it comes to our wardrobe? Today, I will share with you how I built my spring capsule and I'm sure that by the end of this video, you will be inspired to create your own unique wardrobe capsules. I will start with the domes, because a lot of the stylists in the past, but also recently, when they are speaking about wardrobe capsules, they are referring to a collection of basic essential garments in your wardrobe, like tank tops, turtlenecks, classic white shirt, a pair of straight jeans, all of this in neutral tones, paired maybe with black boots or white sneakers and camel shopper bags. But a wardrobe capsule is not that. A unique wardrobe capsule is a collection of garments that have personality, that represent you. It is a collection of items fully interchangeable so each of your top will match each of your bottom and at the same time your coats or outwear, your shoes and your bags will match those top and bottoms as well. So let's start. So we start by listing down our lifestyle. Like for example whether we work or not and if we work whether our work takes place in the office or mainly at home with the new normal whether we are traveling for work what are our hobbies what our, are our daily routine and so on i listed down those activities for myself i like to work on canva this allows me to create these visual files so on my list i have work in the office work from home, running errands, traveling for work, going out, and sport. To make it more visually attractive, you can see that I added three to five items that first came to my mind as matching those activities. So let's start with the first box. I decided to have two boxes for uh, my work because when I go to the office, I have a dress code and some of the activities require a more formal attire, while when I work from home, my only uh, thought is that I want to be comfortable and of course if I have uh, some meetings, I will wear some of the formal clothes, but in a different uh, version, you will see. If you are working two days in the office per week, and if you want to wear a different outfit every time you go to work in one month, that would be around eight to nine outfits per month. To create these eight to nine outfits, I would usually need three tops and three bottoms.
I would say first, try to understand whether the clothes that you wear in the office, depending also on the dress code that you have, would also be fit to be worn at home. Whether these clothes are comfortable enough, because this is what the new normal gave us, to be in the comfort of our home and wear less formal clothes, or at least bottoms. So looking into my office items, I decided the only garment I can wear when working from home is this pair of jeans. But this is just me, because I need to dress more formal for some of the work activities. You may have uh, more overlapping garments that you will decide you can also wear both in the office and both at home. And in terms of bottoms to this pair of jeans, I only added these houndstooth printed leggings. Instead of sweatpants, I prefer these leggings that are fun due to their print, but also extremely comfortable. And a pair of trousers I forgot in the back of my closet and recently discovered because of their fabric and paperback design around the waist, they are very comfortable. And as tops, I realized that my office shirts are too formal, so I chose to add four more tops. The lavender shirt, which has small ruffles, still fun to wear. A graphic t-shirt. A classic denim shirt. Another light blue comfortable blouse. And a cardigan, because you never know how the weather will be in the Netherlands. So better safe than sorry. And this is how I created 12 interchangeable outfits for my working from home box. Moving to the next box, I sometimes need to travel for work and I will work around the garments that I already have in my work from home and work in the office box. And my aim is to combine comfortable items with versatile ones. Those that you can easily transform, like a pair of jeans and soft white blazer, when paired together with a shirt or even a more bodycon item, paired with a scarf. In terms of bottoms, just like when working from home, when I'm traveling, I prefer to be comfortable. So this is why I have in my wardrobe this navy striped uh, line and pants that I always like to wear and in addition to that I will add this moss green uh, paper bag pants and also my uh, jeans to be more comfortable while traveling. My next box is about running errands because somebody has to do those as well, right? This was the easiest to create because to my working from home outfits I can throw on a jacket, some other shoes and a bag and that's that. I already have 12 outfits to do my groceries or to go to the post office to deliver packages with the clothes I sell on the second-hand online platforms. I also have a video about this uh, and if you want to see it you can find it here. Still I decided to add a versatile denim jacket that can work well with everything. I already have the sage green trench coat, but I thought maybe one day I want something less colorful and do not want to wear my soft white blazer either, so this denim jacket that I added would be a good uh, and nice uh, garment to, to have. Plus a denim jacket is also so versatile and you can wear it with almost everything. As you can already see from my uh, spring capsule, I really like outwear, so I will maybe sometimes have more outwear than actual uh, bottoms or tops. Now the most fun and exciting box uh, from my capsule is the one for going out or parties. And for this type of special occasions, I wanted to add a little drama here and there. So I added this short dress with ruffles and prints in black and white, a fuchsia jacket that can be worn with or without a belt, a pair of zebra print crop jeans, and a floral short faux fur coat. It's a lot, you may think, but I already told you that I really like 
outwear and I think a nice outwear can take the outfit out of its comfort zone. So I have at least 12 outfits to go out. You see that I also used other garments from the other boxes and that's fine. This is what we actually aim for. So here it is, my spring capsule is ready. I cannot wait to wear it. I actually managed to build 51 outfits by using only What do you think about that? So do you think you will be able now to build your unique wardrobe capsule?